Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You're listening to Financial Survival, sponsored by Discount Gold and Silver Trading. I'm Melody Peterstrom, and it is Friday. You bet it's Friday, February 6, 2009. And again, thank you for joining us. I'm Melody Peterstrom, and you are listening to Financial Survival, sponsored, of course, by Discount Gold and Silver Trading. 1-800-375-4188. That is 1-800-375-4188. Three seven five four one eight eight for all your gold and silver coin needs, and you can visit our website at discountgoldandsilvertrading.net. Discountgoldandsilvertrading.net is the website. You can listen to these programs, and there's articles to read, and all kinds of things you can learn about the gold and silver coin. And you can also learn about discount gold and silver trading and if you have any questions for the program, questions about your gold and silver coin investments, you can email us at discountgoldandsilver at yahoo.com. Discountgoldandsilver at yahoo.com. So make sure you use that. And uh, we got lots of questions left over uh, from this week, and we'll be getting to those today. But first, let's go to the gold prices. Gold prices. Spot. Down 360 at 911.90, and we have silver up 19 at 13.09. We have platinum up 23 dollars at 1,001, and we have palladium up 12 dollars at 217. So a good move in the metals, and gold did have a high of 921. So you know they certainly whacked that, and it's hard to believe it's down with the other metals being up. And coin prices, they did very well this week with the basically a, a $6 move in gold from the beginning of the week. You have coin prices up, most of them, the $20 gold pieces from 61 to 65 are up 6 and 5%. Uh, the bigger gains, you had $100 increases with a $5, $6 move in gold of the uh, Mint State 63 $20 Liberty. That was up $100 this week. Uh, all the liberties, even the Mint State 61 liberties, were up over uh, 75 and 80 dollars. So, uh, and a tremendous move in the coin prices. And plus, my buyers are at the coin show in California, Long Beach, and uh, word is very few coins at the show. So, folks, it's getting harder and harder. These are going to disappear very quickly, and this is why you see these gains in these prices: six percent, five percent in a week's time when you have a very small move in gold. And it's going to continue. And uh, we have great buys on all the coins. And uh, so, you know, we'll uh, put together a portfolio for you. Give us a call at 800-375-4188. That's 1-800-375-4188. And today is Friday in which Robert Chapman joins us from the International Forecaster. Good afternoon, Bob. Well, good afternoon, Melody. Nice to be here again. It's wonderful having you. Well, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. It's uh, wonderful being with you. That's terrific. Um, today was a classic U.S. government, let's rig the market day. And um, they knew what was coming out. The job manufacturing lost 207,000, construction one hundred and 11,000 retail, five, uh, 35,000. Um, the long-term unemployment, these are my numbers, uh, is uh, 18 and three-quarter percent. Uh, the U6, my figures, is 15 and a half percent. Their figures on that one, they are the government. Uh, their figures are 13 and three-quarters. So I'm um, a point and three quarters above them. And, of course, we get a 7.6 on the inconsequential number. So uh, it's dreadful. They're talking about every month this year being like this. And what they don't know yet is every month next year is going to be like this. And uh, the Republicans are trying to make it look like they're doing something good, and uh, they're trying to keep the stimulus package down to $800 billion. 
Um, they'll probably get it there or somewhere around there. It's another pork barrel. Political payoffs. It, you know, Washington just doesn't stop. Both parties. No difference. And I think at this time next year, we will have a an, an additional stimulus package. At that time, we'll call it stimuli. And uh, that'll be $2 trillion. So you can pencil that on your forearm, and you can look back at it a year from now, and uh, you can see that we were on the ball again. Isn't going to work. Nothing permanent there except some federal jobs. Not very many of them permanent. In the months to come and the years to come, the only entity that is going to be hiring people is the federal government. And the the problem is going to get greater and greater and greater and greater. Um, the outside month is down 140 on gold and up 33 cents on silver. So that's an improvement from what Melody has to say on the spot market. Um, the commodities generally were higher, about three points, I guess, on the CRB index. The the market, well, well let me get a fresh fresh one here. The market was up 200 and. 18 points, 82.81. And um, the other numbers look like they're going to be close, too, on the S&P and the NASDAQ. Give a look here. If they will oblige. Nope. I'll come back to them. Anyway, uh, we had a good week. Uh, next week, uh, 9.30 will be tested. It will break. We're going higher. Uh, we would have gone up today had not the government come in and pounded the, whatchamacallit, out of the market. But that's okay. You know, they can't do it every day. It costs them a lot of money to do that. They lose a lot of money. That nobody cares, you know, taxpayers. What are they? Congress thinks that the taxpayers are idiots. In fact, we have three people in government who didn't pay their taxes. One of them is the Secretary of the Treasury. He blamed it on the program, the Turbo program. I mean, this you got to be kidding me. And nobody says anything. You know... Let's let's do it. Uh, let's put him in there because he's from the Illuminati, and his assistants from Goldman Sachs. You know, same old, same old. Nothing's going to change. You know, Washington is just a bed of criminals. Now, Melody, would you go ahead with your question, seeing that you're getting black here? Well, I appreciate you allowing me to do that, Robert. I have a question, and it goes back to January. I think we did discuss the first half, but it was a two-part question. And so I'm going to recap the first one. If you want to further come on it, comment on it, you may. And this is about uh, uh, Geithner's remark about China and the dollar. So I don't know if you can go back that far. I'm sure. Well, that's easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's easy. Um uh, the NASDAQ was up the equivalent of 273 Dow points, and S&P was up 205 equivalent Dow points, and the Dow was up 218. And incidentally, what was the um, index? Uh, the index now again is down 0. 0.68 at 8538. Mm. Well, that was a good day. Okay. Um, Geithner and the, uh, the president said, the Chinese got to stop 
manipulating their currency to make uh, things happen, so to speak. And, of course, the Chinese have been manipulating their currency, and so has it everybody else screwing the American public. But, you know, what else would you expect? You know, Uncle Sucker? I mean, that's what they think we are. And, uh, but I've, I've written a piece that'll be in this weekend, tomorrow, on the International Forecaster. And I talk about China and how inflation is going to go up Big time. Major inflation. Just like in the U.S. 